Hey guys, what's up? It's Ijev, and how is everybody doing? I am back on the Blockville server, and today I am going to be showing you how to automate bees. That's right. So, over the past couple of hours, I have just been, you know, steadily working on it. I've been working on getting these Imperial Queens. Uh, the Imperial Queen is a bee that gives off dripping combs and royal jelly dripping combs give you honeydew and the royal jelly is really important to get alvarares which is the bigger setup so you're gonna see that there's a, an imperial drone here imperial queen well we can take these out right and you're gonna see that these bees stack so this is like the first and like m utmost important thing to making this setup work uh, once these oblivion frames kill this queen, you'll see what I'm talking about. Uh, you see how those two drones right there stacked up, and then it's going to repeat itself and bring it back in. We're going to have three here in just a second. There's three. Queen uh, Princess comes in. We do not need to, to do anything because it's automated. So the easiest way to get your bees to stack is first you want to kind of if you have the machines like I do you can run them through the machines get the serums that you need fastest longest life nocturnal rainfall you know whatever you want that to be um, so once you have your bees doing the same thing that you want uh, you can we can look at um, these two stacks right here for some reason, these two stacks of bees will not stack, but they're they're individuals. So uh, let's go ahead and look at these. And you're gonna be like, well, how come they don't stack? They're the exact same bee. So if we look at this in our beealizer, you're gonna see that they're long life, fast uh, workers. Um, but when we go over here, there we go. And you're gonna be like, well, okay, so maybe some inactive traits don't stack. So what you want to do is, when you're breeding your bees first off, like over in your apiary here, um, we're going to take these out by the way, I don't want to kill the bees. Um, I don't want too many drones stacking up. Um, so what you're going to do is, once this queen dies, leave your bees in the apiary, you know? Um, the reason why you're going to leave them in there is because when you put your next princess and drone in there and you make your next queen and it dies, it's going to overlay bees and you find the bee that stacks so you'll have one in here that's going to be by itself you'll have another one then you'll find you'll eventually get it to where the bees are producing the same bees every single time so you'll have like a princess drone drone and then you'll have a drone that has two stacked and that's the one you want to use so you would just take those two put them in there and then it's going to repeat the cycle over and over again so this setup right here is actually really super easy to do um the first thing that you're going to want is an apiary obviously get yourself some frames i'm using proven frames um and this is just from me talking for like two seconds um and then you're going to need an autartic gate this gate is this a regular gate this is I think I lost my autarctic gates. I cannot find them. Um, but this is just a regular gate. And all I'm telling this gate is uh, when items in inventory, energy pause. And that makes me think it is an autarctic gate. But uh, anyways, so a uh, wooden pipe coming out of the side of this. Um, then that setup right there. And then come down. This bottom pipe right here is an apiarius pipe. So what you're going to have this set to is just any bees for the white part so the bees go back up into it and then the green part is going to be set to anything so all the stuff comes out of it. Uh, so the bees will, they'll just keep recycling um, and then you'll just, you'll be able to say you're just going for silk or you're going for dripping combs or royal jelly or whatever you're working for. Um, you can pretty much do that non-stop. I mean, you can even chunk load it and go from there. So it's really easy. So just uh, repeat the steps here. Make sure your bees stack. First off, that's the most important thing. You don't want bees laying all over the ground. Uh, because if they do not stack, these bees will shoot out and just die eventually or uh, despawn. Make sure you have a gate set to items and inventory and energy pauser. Uh, just another pipe down below. Uh, Apiarius pipe on the bottom with the white part set to any bees and the green part or wherever it's going set to anything so you get all of your items coming out of this good to go 
and you have set up an auto bee machine and this thing will produce as much as the bees produce so I suggest if you're going to do this like this do what I did um, get yourself some cultivated and uh, I don't see the other ones I used valiance too um, you're gonna see that like some of these bees have faster work and some of them are longer lives find those bees separate those traits in an isolator give them the best traits they can possibly get um, so if you look at these Imperial drones you'll see that it's a long life it's a fast worker it's even got this little cool effect to where I get a regeneration if I stand by it it's called beautific I think is what it's called but with all of this you are bound to learn more about bees which is a good thing so uh, it does take a lot to get what you're seeing here. I've got Imperial drones everywhere. <laughs> uh, even a bunch of nobles and majestics and things like that. So I hope you guys enjoyed this little tutorial. Um, I'm going to say this. I have been up all night. Uh, so this may be the only video you get today. And if so, I am sorry. I'm still working on themed Minecraft. I'm trying to get things set up. I uh, have a little bit of a change coming for it. But nothing too big. So I apologize in advance for... I'm not sure what time I'm going to wake up. So, um, anyways, guys, I hope that you have a great day. Um, and I hope you just enjoy the day. Uh, this is Ijevin. Peace out.